What's poppin' in the streets, GGs? I'm your boy, Tom. And I'm your girl, Reese. Yeah, but y'all already know how we do this thing, right? That's right. We just jump right into it. But beforehand, we gotta do what, GGs? Right, of course. What we gotta do? Bow those heads. Dear God, thank you for this beautiful opportunity you put before us in Jesus' name. We pray amen, amen, amen. Amen. If this is your first time tuning in with the Tony and Reese show, make sure you like, share, subscribe, and what? Hit that bell. Get that notification when your boy and your girl drop their next video. I hope y'all want to see we it. We know you want to see it. But what we got going on today, Tom? Today, we got a special topic we want to share with y'all while we partake <laughs> in these lovely salads prepared right. by us. Yes, yes, yes. What's that topic, Tom? That topic is called Stop Sweeping Shh Under the Rug. <laughs> y'all heard it. Hashtag. But we got two different <laughs> salads here. Right, right. Going on. You see, Tom Way. Reway, we got a good old spring mix that's got spinach in it and stuff. I got corn and black beans, green pepper, onion. I got apples, y'all. I got uh, avocado, strawberry, carrots, cucumbers, cheese, tomatoes, shrimp, the works. Man, I got almost the same thing, but I'm missing my croutons and my dried jalapeno peppers. Why you didn't get that? Hey, right, you know what I'm saying? I was just so. Excited to get to the GGs, you know what I'm saying? I forgot about it. All right, but y'all, y'all already know before we get into this topic, I'm hungry. I gotta eat something, but we do have some water. Some of that good tequila agua. Yeah, we're drinking some water today with our good old salad. Hope and pray that everybody is doing well out there. Right, right. They're having right, a great day. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? I'm mad. You know, y'all doing y'all thing out there with the vlogmas. Kudos to y'all. Right. We might try. We might try next year. My y'all. Mm, so man. I gotta mix this salad up, cause. See, I already got mine doing. Yeah, he already. He already is. He ready. I ain't ready, cause I ain't even got everything I need. So I'ma just mix it on up, y'all. Mix it on up. But comment below. Let us know how y'all been doing today. What's been popping in those streets? Y'all ain't been telling your girl what's been popping in those streets. You know I'm nosy. I want to know what's going on in them streets. I don't say what's popping in them streets for no reason. Right, I right. want to know what's going on, y'all. Yeah? It's a question. What's been popping in them streets? What y'all got popping in them streets? Not a damn you thing, Reed. Comment below if you can guess what the topic is for the day. Wait a minute. Hold yeah. up. Yeah. Let me see. I don't put uh, dressing all over my salad for a reason. I normally put it on half because most of the time I don't ever finish my whole salad. So, what was know, that? I put it on half. What was that? Yeah, I know I said it. I didn't say the topic already, but I'm trying to see if y'all still paying attention. Right. You know what I'm saying? We don't want to lose you. So I put it on half, y'all. Cause you know, if you don't eat all of it, you can come back. You know, save it for later, whatever the case may be. I, I'm gonna give y'all some. Hold on, let me mix it up. Y'all don't want the salad dressing mixed up on there. Mm. So I have some Parmesan um, dressing on it. And I do have some like extra cheese on the side because I do like a little extra cheese on mine. If I'm gonna put like a tag on it, I'm gonna give this a little extra cheese. What's all Look. rubbing on the day? Look. And some more. <laughs> Don't mind me. Over that trip. Don't mind me today, y'all. Don't mind me. Don't mind me today. And excuse me for spinning my gum out on camera. Yeah, let me get a little bit of this. And then we get into right this into it. topic. Right up into it. I'm just so mad. I want to come. He always messy, y'all. 
don't know nothing new. It's just like me dropping something on my shirt all the time. Oh, well, it mm -hmm. is what it is. Mm -hmm. Raw and uncut. Yeah, that's real life. Mm. Oh, you right. Thank you for the person that said it. I'm sorry. Hmm. Hmm. Look at that. My bad, y'all. I just got all into it. Mm-hmm. It's like the... I was like, dang, really? You said you was going to give us a bite. It's like the second Maybe time, you know what I'm saying, eating today. Mm-hmm. You know, so I'm like, hey, I'm trying to get to it. So, you know, get a little energy for this topic. Yeah. Mm. I hope y'all don't hear that fan. But if y'all do, y'all be all right. In real life, it be hot. And I don't know if it's these lights, it be hot. Mm. I know. Mm -hmm. We coming. We coming. Mm. Yeah. Some strawberries. And some apples in there. Good. Mm. Okay, y'all. Stop sweeping shit up on the rug. Excuse my French. For the grandmas and the aunties and the, the elders that's watching. You know, I'm just keeping it real. And, and, and before she gets started, if you have a soft spirit, soft heart, you you know, things kind of bother you verbally, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? You can't handle the truth or whatnot. Please just back up. You know what I'm saying? Come out of this one and come into another one because it get it, it it gets, you know, we level up with it. You know what I'm saying? We don't sugarcoat, we don't we cut a corner. Up. It ain't gonna be messed up like that. But you know what I'm saying? It's just some things, you know, something. It's just stuff we're talking about. It's, it's it's our opinion on it, and it's some of it is us. it's facts that we all go through. You know what I'm saying? So right. just letting you know you have been warned. Mm -hmm. So, Enter at your own risk. You want your kids in there. But, we say stop sweeping shit up on the rug. Because when you do that, you mess up a lot of people in your life. Real talk. Meaning? Okay. Yeah. I'm going to just jump right in. If you got cousins out here sleeping with other cousins or trying to sleep with other cousins, that's a no-no. You got siblings out here trying to sleep with other siblings, that's a no-no. That's nasty. I'm sorry. I'm just keeping real. It's nasty. But the thing about it, the reason for, for bringing that one is you will have that situation but you know, this side of the family, they know about it. But this side of the family might not know what's going on. Mm -hmm. But what they doing is they taking it and they sweeping it up on the rug. But you know, when you have like siblings or whatever, or parents that, that went through stuff in life, they might not even know their parent, but find out their real parent and then sit there and not want to give you information. It F's your kid up. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Because if they get to get to sleeping with their sister or their brother or their cousin or uncle, auntie, whoever, then the family looking at them like, ooh, y'all nasty. But it's because y'all swept that shit up on the rug, the reason they in that situation. So mm. who followed? It's not the two that encounters, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's the it's the fact of lacking of information. Mm hmm You know, stop sweeping this under the rug. You know what I'm saying? You got family members that you know, had a little past that wasn't as bright mm -hmm. as, you know what I'm saying, you expected to be, you know, you may not even know certain things about your uncle, your auntie, or whatnot, you this know. This is deep. Stop sweeping under the rug that you got the predators, you know what I'm saying, that's amongst you, 
You know right. what I'm saying? That's praying on your child. Mm-hmm. That's praying on you. That's praying on your significant other. You know what I'm saying? And Stop you okay with that? You let yeah. that person just constantly and, and, be in your household. And you what looking the at like, oh, fuck? that's Uncle Junebug. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and, and he cool. You know, he used to take me. Mm-hmm. And we used to do this, that, and the other. But you know what I'm saying? What he did for you, he might not be doing for the next. You know what I mean? But what the family do is the reason for the topic is they sweep it up under the rug. Shh, be quiet. You know what I'm saying? No, no I'm that, saying that, ain't, that ain't how it is, you know. If your man trifling, and he beating your ass, don't try to make it say like he just pressed charming. No, oh, let me sweep this up under the rug because I don't want to tell nobody, but I'm going to make him look good. Stop sweeping that shit up under the rug. It's okay. He love me. Girl, stop capping. Him love me. Him all right. It's not okay. No. Mm-mm. It's not okay. If you out here, you letting your kids sleep with 40-year-old men or 50-year-old men, you sweeping it up under the rug if they get pregnant, that shit ain't okay. That's right. Stop sweeping it up on the rug. First off, you think for one minute it's not gonna be noticeable that you got an extra belly in front mm-hmm. of you. You know what I'm saying? But what what's the I think what the problem is, it might become embarrassing to know who mm-hmm. put that, you know what I'm saying, in the oven. Right. But y'all just wanna sweep it up on the rug. Just know, you know what I'm saying? The thing is. Keep it real. You know what I'm saying? If you keep it real with yourself, you can keep it real with somebody else. Because, you know, Uncle Charles might be, might have touched you. And then you go sit there and you go put your children in that man world where he touching on them too. I fucked up. You goddamn you right, Reed. Sweep it up under the rug. It's okay. And you wonder why the situation might be hectic later on down the road because, you know what I'm saying, the lack of information, the lack mm-hmm. of knowledge, the ignorance, you know what I'm saying, became mm-hmm. real. Right. And shit hit the fan, you know what I'm saying? It was like, hey, man, what happened? So now you're looking like, well, well what happened was, you know, no. it was just a little honest mistake. No, the honest mistake was that you didn't tell the honest truth. If you are abusive to your children or anybody in your family, and then when they get grown and they feel some type of way, don't you feel some type of way? Because you swept all that shit up under the rug that she was doing to them when they was little. Right. Sorry. Let's accept what you did. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's accept what you did, call it a day, chop it up, mm-hmm. and move along. Simple as that. If you know your friend is a thief and you bring them up to somebody else's house and they just stole all their they family member goodies or you just swept it up under the rug because you know she a thief, well, you wrong. And now she done robbed everybody and their mama that you know. Sweeping it up under the rug. The problem is what's wrong in this world is people can't be real out here. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. People not loyal to their family, their associates, you know what I'm saying? They kids, they whatever, you know what I'm saying? They're not mm-hmm. even loyal to themselves because none of this will happen, you know what I'm saying? If you let you come to the table and let things be known, you know what I'm saying, then everything gonna work itself out. Right. Yeah, we all might be we might not understand what's going on, but at least, you know, you get some type of insight on on the whole situation and you're not left in the dark later on. Because uh, sometimes it might be too late. Let me tell you, if you're ever in late. a situation where you feel the need that you got to sweep it up under the rug, don't. Vacuum that shit out, okay? Vacuum it out. Wow. Let your truth be heard. Uh-huh. For real. Because seeing in life, I'm going to demonstrate. Some of y'all... <laughs> mm-hmm. Some of y'all trap. Mm-hmm. The real trap house ain't the dope house. That trap house is reality. Some of y'all just lost in the sauce. And everybody done been in the situation before. So y'all know what we what, what we talking about. But it's up to you 
if you want to go down that same path and keep sweeping it up under the rug, it's where you want to tell your truth. And you want to speak out. Everyday situations. You got one side of life telling the other side mm -hmm. of life. Oh, what happened back then? Y'all sweep that, you know. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about it. It's not happening to you. Mm -hmm. How you know how it affects the person, you know what I'm saying? That's learning of that that's the learnt what's been happening in the past. Sometimes the past is very beneficial to the your future. future. Right. Cause in order to know where you're going, you gotta know where you came from. Oh. Come on, man. I mean, a lot of y'all forget where you come from. A lot of y'all forget that things that happened to you in your past is affecting you in your present, which is going to be very detrimental in your future, mm -hmm. which can be positive or negative. And remember, like, you bringing your kids and whoever else into the future with you. Come on, man. You know, all your extra baggage and all that ain't going to ever be right. So I'm here today to tell you, speak your truth once again. Speak your truth. Let it out. Somebody might need to hear that, okay? Speak your truth. It's so crazy. You know, for all the young ladies out there that may be watching this, you know, you got something going on. Maybe you mm -hmm. got this individual that's in your life that's doing something that he's supposed to be doing, mm -hmm. and you don't know how to come out. Man, dip up out the situation and let it be known. Cause right. in the end, it's gonna be help. It's gonna be beneficial to you, and it's gonna be extra beneficial to that individual that's making you feel some mm -hmm. type of way. Don't think you in the world by yourself. You all alone, and this person telling you all, oh, man, you know, if you do this, then I'm gonna do this to you. Mm -hmm. If this, this, this gonna happen, it's gonna be extra weight on you. Just know when you apply that pressure to him, it's gonna be extra weight on him, her, right. whatever the case may be. You know what I'm saying? You got to stand for something. Stand strong. It might be hard. It's easier said than done, but you know, right. hey, you got to make it happen. Real tough. Yeah. Look. Yeah, this sound is good. We're just talking with a mouthful. But it's so good, and we're going to make sure we get this out. We're going to stop scooping shit up on the rug. What good is it going to do if you're not, you know what I'm saying, communicating or expressing yourself enough mm -hmm. to share with the world? The world might not be what we're doing right now. We're sharing with the world right now. Right. Um, why it's, it's a need to not keep sweeping that shit up under the rug, you know what I'm saying? Because it's not it's not helping. Who is it really helping? Right. It ain't helping nobody. You got guilty conscience. Then you know, then you might get a victory to somebody that don't deserve it. Right. Yeah. Like we knew this person that had a family member sleeping with another family member. And then find out they had kids together, they did all this because they went to college together. And they fell in love and they did all this stuff. And then bam. They find out they first cousins. All because the siblings don't want to talk to each other because they had bullshit going on in the past. Hey. So they brought it to their present and then fucked their kids up. That's fucking their kids up in the future. Because they didn't have kids. They did the family want to boot them out and talk about them. Not, why? Why? Yeah, well, y'all slept under, under the rug. rug. That was a that was a consequence, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And that ain't right. Mm -hmm. It ain't fair to him. Mm -hmm. Then another thing, you know, like you know, back growing up, 70s, 80s, whatever, you know what I'm saying? We had big families, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Now they want to consider a family like four people. Mm -hmm. Cause the the families back in the day, in them OG days, big, 13, right. 14, 15 siblings. You know what I'm saying? Come on. So. And it wasn't always just that one, you know. So y'all know they make them songs for a reason. Papa was a rolling stone. So Papa got 15 with this lady. Mm -hmm. Then got another eight with this lady. Then probably got seven with this lady. Mm -hmm. But don't nobody know anything. You know what I'm saying? So then when everything got exposed, now everybody like, nah, don't say nothing. Don't say nothing. We don't want to make daddy look bad. Nah, right. daddy make yourself look bad. Right. You was out there dipping your spoon in all that pudding. Come on now. Now, 
you got this side right here. You got extra brothers and sisters out mm -hmm. there. So now what re I'm gonna elaborate on what Reese saying. So you got these brothers and sisters out here that don't mess with you, don't mess with one another. Right. They swept under the rug. So now they the move to this city, the move to this state. Now when you come together, now you got the nieces, the nephews, the grandkids, this, the that. Now they didn't intermingle with one another and now it's incest. <laughs> incest. But who fault was it? Right. You know what I'm saying? Was it the, the Lord generation? Nah, it was the ones, it was the forefathers of, of that situation that brought that. You know what I'm saying? The the, the, the great uncles and the granddad and the mm -hmm. grandma I'm like, oh, don't worry about it. Nah, it ain't. Nah, man, that, that really affect. That's why you got people out here with three, four heads, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Five no, ears, no, you know what no, I mean? No. Come on, man. It, but shame on them nasty people that be trying to holler at their family members when they know that they family members. Now, that's different. Hmm. Oh, really? Y'all going in today? You going from my... And once again, that swept under the rug because you feel like it's all right. Now, we ain't asked y'all to put nothing in the comment. But y'all put 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 some share your thoughts in the com you know your opinions in the in the comment section as we mm -hmm. speak. I'm gonna elaborate on this one where we just talked about the thing of cousins trying to talk to other cousins. You know what I'm saying? And another thing, no matter how it is, this is how I look at it, and this is how I know how we look at it. If you got a cousin on this side, mm -hmm. and then there's another cousin on this side, mm -hmm. even though you might not be fully connected, mm -hmm. once that word, that family, that family thing, cuz, nephew, this, auntie, whatever, we still, we family. Right. And it's, it's a boundary set right there. Ain't no, oh, you third, and then everybody want to go down a chain line talking about, oh, well, if you third, fourth, fifth, you don't count. No, no. no it don't work like that, Leroy. It don't work like that. Because y'all know y'all are family. Yeah. But GG's, that's all we have to say. We ain't gonna say no more, you know? Because that's sweeping it up under the rug. So, y'all, once again, I hope y'all like him, sharing the video. Comment below. Tell us how we're doing. And possibly, if you wanna join the family, subscribe. Subscribe. Hey. Yeah. We are um, thinking about doing another Q&A. So also leave that below too. Any questions y'all want to ask us? What y'all want to know about Reed? Y'all want to know? What y'all want to know? What y'all want to know about Reed? Let us know. I know y'all are curious. Y'all see what I mean? <laughs> Hey, hey. Oh, big old Sally. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? But it ain't heavy. No, it's not heavy at all. It's really good. It's fresh. Everything is fresh in there. But this is why I don't do have. I'm going to put a little bit more. I'm going to eat just a little bit more. But I know I'm going to eat half. Like, literally. I know it's only going to eat half. Because I always do. I got Come back the right to it amount, later. right? I got the right amount of salad dressing in that bowl. Like it's empty. Man, man, man. It's really empty. This joke is loaded though, man. I'm talking about some of everything. And I and I still didn't have everything that I wanted in here. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Big ups though. Big ups to all the Sagittarius out there that celebrates. Yeah. What, 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 what you hearing that? Same song. Yep, for the ones that don't know. Song birthday is coming up. I don't know if we're going to do a live or not. We got to do nothing. That's up to him. I'm only turning 21, so it don't even matter. You know what I'm saying? I didn't already did everything I needed to do, anything I could do that a 21 year old can do. So I'm Gucci. I just want y'all to, you know what y'all can do. You know what I want from y'all. I want y'all to subscribe to this channel and I want y'all to tell 20 other people so they make sure they subscribe. And I want to interact with all of them because I want some new friends. You know what I'm saying? I got my family with this job, but I want some new friends. You know what I'm saying? I'm 21, so I need to, I want to come and do 21 things over here with y'all. I'm dealing with everybody else. You know, that's what I want. So y'all surprise me. 
make it special for me. Come on. Come on now. Make it special for me. Okay, whatever. Don't, don't, don't mind me. <laughs> don't, don't mind me. What you say? I mm-hmm. heard you. Sally gets you full now. Huh? It gets you full. Sally gets you right. What was one of that? Something else I want to indulge in back in the day. I was, you know what I'm saying? I wanted a pork chop sandwich. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I wanted some chicken. The original chicken sandwich that. You, you like took. salads? No, nah, I wasn't doing all that. I call that rabbit food. I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. You want to know what my salad was? That piece of lettuce I put on my sandwich? Oh, my God. <laughs> Don't mind me, y'all. I'm just misunderstood. We love y'all. We appreciate y'all. We thank y'all so much for always rocking with us, toning in with us, showing us so much love. We appreciate it. But with that being said... It's been real. It's been fun. As always, GG's is real fun. But until next time... We out.